I grew up in New York City and on the island of Manhattan. So I'm a writer and I'm a screenwriter and a produced screenwriter. I, I was um, started mime classes, uh, mime like in pantomime, uh, when I was 12. Right. By the time I was 14, I went to high school of the performing art. I started doing stand-up comedy at Catch a Rising Star, Stand Up New York, when I was 17 years old. Well, I have a movie called Benjamin Troubles. It's a story about a homeless guy who has these magic genes that produce $100 in one of the pockets every hour. My first script was terrible. Everybody who, anybody who hears this, if you write your first screenplay, throw it out. Working comic with agents and managers and whatnot doing TV in Australia, that was when I wanted to write my first movie script about street performing. And when I returned to perform with Cirque du Soleil overseas in one of their big shows, I was got to return to my roots after many years of doing spoken comedy and improv comedy. I got to return to just being a mime. There was a lovely, beautiful, magical power in wearing white face and the power of silence. And in the filmmaking, independent filmmaking landscape of Colorado is very small. And there are only a handful of people who are very motivated to get things made, get things done. Hollywood is a series of relationships at higher and higher levels. The, uh, the, the very first internet murder that ever happened in the United States in 1996 was the inspiration behind the script. And, uh, and then through various uh, rewrites and working with the producers and the director, you know, we were very lucky to find the attachments, get the financing and, and move forward. It's been a long journey, it's been but we're really years. happy. We love Maria, we love Jason, love really everybody. good stuff. Yeah. So that's a strange landscape with the consolidation of big media and who owns what. And from attending very, you know, the line was always, I have several projects in various stages of go. development. Yes.